This afternoon, I'm visiting with Bob Leonard. Bob, you are the president for Laramie Cares Foundation in Laramie. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So we are here to talk about Wyo Gives, which is an exciting time for the state of Wyoming because it's the first time that nonprofits are embarking on a 24-hour online day of giving. I know here in Cheyenne, we are super excited about Wyo Gives. How are you all feeling in Laramie? Well, I, um, I'm feeling excited about it because I think it's an opportunity to expose our foundation, which has only been in being for about two years, to the rest of the nonprofit network uh, in Wyoming and to other people who might be interested in supporting suicide prevention, which is our main focus. So let's talk a little bit about your nonprofit. For those who are not familiar with it, can you tell me a little bit about what you do and how you serve your community? Well, we had a uh, spate of suicides back in 2015, 2014 in our schools. And we formed originally a task force, suicide prevention task force, and then Laramie Cares Foundation uh, evolved out of that in 2018. So we do a couple of things. We sponsor Sources of Strength, which is an evidence-based suicide prevention program in all the Albany County schools, including the University LCCC and the school district. And then we sponsor a talk and text suicide prevention hotline that operates 24 hours a day out of Ivinson Memorial Hospital. So this is a very different platform for fundraising this year. Uh, why did you all decide to participate in Wire Gives? Well, we had just joined the, the Wyoming Nonprofit Network, I want to say about four or five months ago. Uh, one of our board members had uh, noticed it, and we were looking to help sponsor a statewide suicide prevention uh, hotline and we were looking for help with a business plan and he thought joining the network would be helpful in that regard and then I got the information and notice saying that this was going to take place so we said okay let's spend the money to get involved in it and uh, see if it might be helpful uh, in exposure if nothing else. So let's talk a little bit about COVID-19. It has been a very difficult time for nonprofits throughout our state. And now more than ever, I believe that nonprofits need dollars more than ever before. So what would you like to say to donors or even potential new donors on why they should give to not only your organization, but perhaps nonprofits statewide on July 15th through Wyo Gives? Well, in addition to being president of Laramie Cares Foundation, I serve on the board of the Albany County United Way. So I'm very much aware of how nonprofits, at least in Albany County, are struggling to keep up with the jobless, the food needs, the health needs of the citizens of Albany County. And I'm also very much aware that during this crisis, the suicide rate is increasing dramatically. And it's becoming more and more important that there are sources out there for people to turn to when they're depressed and, and need help. So I'm, I'm aware of how difficult it is on nonprofits from two different points of view. Well, we all know that nonprofits are the backbone to our communities. So we want to wish your organization the very best of luck on July 15th. And let's make this an annual event for the state of Wyoming. I think that's a good idea. Uh, I was very pleased when I saw that this was going to take place. And actually, you sent me one of those banners. And I uh, took a picture of the banner, and it's going to appear on our website starting tonight. Well, Bob, thank you for your time this afternoon. And again, best of luck. Thank you for letting me talk about Laramie Cares Foundation.